Hi everyone, I just finished doing a video on how to find the height if they give you the volume of a cylinder and this video I said I would do I do I would do one quickly where you have to where you're able to find the radius of a cylinder if they give you two things, the volume and the height. So let's give let's do an example right now. What is the radius of a cylinder? Remember a cylinder looks like this. Okay? Kind of like a can and we know two things in this video. We know the volume and we know the height of the cylinder. So we know the height is 22 and the volume of the whole thing is 4,421. Let's start by writing the formula down. The volume formula for a cylinder is pi r squared, so r times r, that's what the squared means, times the height. Now, the volume is given, so we're going to write that down, 4, 4, 2, 1. Pi is 3.14. The radius we do not know, and the height we do know. They gave it to us. It's 22. Okay, it's 22 centimeters. So the way to get r all by itself, because we're trying to find the radius of this cylinder, so we're going to start by multiplying 3.14 times 22, so we know what is beside r squared here. And I'm going to use a calculator to do that right now. So I'm going to go 3.14 times 22, and I get 69.08. 69.08. Don't forget r squared, or r to the exponent 2. Over here we have 4421. Now in math, to get rid of this, I want r squared to be all by itself. I'm going to divide both sides by 69.08. That way, there will be just one left over here, which is invisible. A one will be invisible when multiplying by r squared. So divide both sides by 69.08. That will get rid of it here. So it will appear that we just have r squared is equal to, what is 4421 divided by 69.08? In order to speed that process up, I'm using a calculator. 4421 divided by 69.08. And I'm going to round it off to the nearest decimal. Um, because there's a bunch of nines here after the decimal, I'm going to round it off to just 64. Okay? This actually is going to work really nicely. Because, one more step, the radius of this cylinder, radius being the distance from here to here, the radius is not 64, obviously. It says r squared is equal to 64. So in order to get rid of this little squared right here, we have to use this square root symbol. We have to do that to both sides. We're going to take the square root of both sides, which really just boils the r down to the r squared down to just r here, but the square root of 64, wow, that actually works really nicely because the square root of 64 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. And so we know, we know the radius is 8 centimeters. Okay? We don't write squared or cubed here. It just stays as 8 centimeters because we're talking about a distance. So that is how you find the radius if you are given the height and the volume and you have to work backwards to find out what the radius is. Hopefully that helped. Good luck with your own questions that I know you all might have from your teachers or textbooks. Good luck everyone. Take care.